Welcome back to Star <coughs> Online Live Chat. Dato, we would like to um, ask you some questions on the cyberspace security. I think this is one of, uh, one of the areas where we have received a lot of questions. Um, Dato, how secure are we in cyberspace? And um, as we know, cybersecurity is an agency under MOSTI. And um, what is their role? And how general public and MOSTI um, uh, can play a role in this whole matter? How safe are we? I think we, uh, we are as, as safe as uh, uh, what we can be, okay? And uh, compared to other regions, uh, even among the developed countries, uh, we have the necessary technology, we have laid the necessary policy, we have the necessary, we have the good necessary councils uh, that have worked on these uh, strategies to make Malaysia as safe as it can be, okay? Uh, and we have, under that is, of course, our... Um, Cyber security. Uh, through that and the initiatives of other agencies, we have set up what we call the national cyber security uh, policy. Okay. On top of that, we have also set up the national computer emergency response team, yeah. that is uh, 24 hours by seven. You know, uh, 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 um, service at uh, at any one time. So cyber security undertakes uh, awareness program. Like how it important it is to uh, to know about safety, to know about security. Because at the end, it is to do with us as well. Okay, knowing our role uh, and, and so forth is very, very, very crucial. The overall national uh, uh, center for um, for security comes under the National Security Council, of which uh, our agency is a member uh, in that effort. Um, of course, the the agency does not only undertake training; they do the 24 by 7 uh, monitoring with the latest, latest technology that's available in any part of the world wow. in terms of advanced warning system. They are connected to international bodies in this area. Um, they also, of course, uh, undertake certification and training of personnel that are dealing with uh, cyber security uh, uh, issues. And on top of that, they are also certifying to many aspects of the technology that's being used uh, uh, in the market. Uh, these are some of the things, but uh, I can say that um, uh, on top of that, uh, our cyber security is linked, I would say, uh, to international bodies. Uh, the, uh, you might be aware of the UN uh, NGO body yes. called IMPACT that Impact. is located in uh, uh, Cyberjaya, and uh, they too uh, interact uh, uh, with cyber security. So I can say to the people that I think that we can as safe as what we can be, a lot of the responsibility pertaining to uh, security, cyber security and, sa and, and safety, uh, I think going to be also dependent on the people who are using uh, mm -hmm. the system. Okay. But uh, we are comparable with any country in the world. Yeah. And we can, I think, track any likelihood attack uh, uh, in the same way as what other big countries uh, are doing. But again, you know, the risk is always there. Always and there. the whole task is managing risk. So as for the general public, I think we need, it's a shared responsibility. To exactly. To, yeah. It's a shared responsibility. They have a major role to play. Right. Uh, parents in educating the, uh, the, the younger generation. Okay. Uh, and as I said, uh, the uh, general awareness of the public in this matter. Okay. Thanks. Mm. Thanks. Thank you. So, um, we have heard that there are about 2,000 e-services available mm -hmm. content. Now, what are these content applications available to public currently out mm -hmm. of the whole 2,000? You know, so quite, mm -hmm. a, quite a bit. So maybe yeah. you want to share with us, you know, what are the important ones and, you know, really that public can Well, benefit. I think it's, it's very huge. I mean, uh, uh, emailing system uh, uh, within the ministry, uh, uh, inter, uh, intra and inter-ministry is uh, uh, almost, com has been completed for some time. It's a question of people are using it or not. Okay. okay. We have gone into telemedicine. Okay, <clears throat> you, you, you have gone into, um, in the area of passport renewal, you, you've gone into JPJ kind yeah. of issues. Uh, on our side, we have developed, for instance, uh, the e-bazaar, the marketing and selling of agricultural produce okay. on the portal. Okay, so these are uh, many, some of the services that have become uh, uh, online uh, today. And in fact, I think uh, you can ask any department, they will have not less than one or two that they have made uh, e, you know, okay. they have made it electronic to electronic uh, uh, transaction. Transaction. Yeah. yeah, and I think the numbers are increasing, and as a result, uh, today, uh, you know, MDEC and the other ICT uh, related agencies yeah. today, uh, all over the world, being consulted by developing countries who wants to who want to 
uh, avail themselves of the way we have made uh, e-services uh, okay. work in this country. Okay. Yeah. Well, what are the, some of the popular e-services that mm. are really common among, you know, do you, is there any that is very... Well, I think those on the, the product of Mosti, uh, the e-bazaar is one that I think we have, we can see uh, a major uh, 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 right. leap forward uh, okay. uh, in terms of the people who, have, who are using it. Whereby, as far as my area in Kota Murudu, they can uh, uh, join the portal, put on the forum there, that now I got uh, 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 durians for sale uh, <laughs> at this price. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, it is also linked now to, to the mobile technology of the handphone, okay? okay. So some, some of the things that we have already uh, done. So there are host more, but of course the details of those will be available to the government, uh, various government agencies. And keep in mind, the state too, you see, the states too yes. have uh, mounted on their own uh, in terms of using technology to make their services e. So even in Sabah, even in Sarawak, okay? Uh, I think the education system has, uh, has gone a long way in, the, in this area. So <clears throat> when you put on the uh, Malaysian national agencies and departments, and plus the state departments, that's why you get the over 2,000 services Service. that are provided online okay. uh, today. Okay. I mean, I think uh, ordering of food, uh, you know, canteens, uh, some of them even have, them, they have put that on websites so that people can order food online. Uh, so the list, uh, that's the, do not uh, include, you know, what the private sector is doing, you see. So uh, overall, in terms of um, the e-services being provided in government and corporate sector, we have gone a long way. But uh, I think the room is still there, especially the people who, uh, it's available whether they use it or not. Yes, it's, not a, yes. it's not an issue. Yes. I think everything is there. It's a matter of tapping and using the resources which ministry has made available for yes. everyone. Right? And now I must, I must stress that these are the, uh, uh, taken up not only just by Mosti, but literally uh, the whole uh, government machinery. In fact, the KSN drives this whole uh, initiative. initiative. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are only a partner, and our job is to provide the technology that's available uh, for those purposes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you so much uh, for shedding some light on the areas of concerns and we <coughs> see that Mosti will be, you know, playing an important part in, in having Malaysia take the big leap into the global, uh, global innovation economy, you know, and um, we'll be there to support and in whatever way we can. Dear viewers, <coughs> stay tuned for Star Online live chat at home and uh, we'll be back again in half an hour to answer a lot of questions and queries with regards uh, to the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. Stay tuned.